know anything, and I'm all alone. <laughs> oh, oh, don't cry, dude. I'll help you. Woo! I'm taking the rest of the day off. Anne Marie, I swear to Christ, if you do this again, you're fired. What did you say to me? Oh. You have snot. What do you think happens when you die? I don't know. Well, I do. My Uncle Jimmy fell off the 700 level at the old veteran stadium trying to reach a failed ball. He was legally dead for four minutes. You know he got that ball, though. Anyways, he says what happens when you die is you sit in a room waiting for God to tell you if you were a big enough Phillies fan. Oh. I didn't know that. I feel like I could tell you anything, Snotter. I'm really glad you're my boyfriend. I am? Uh, you bet your tits you are. <sighs> And now, by the powers vested in me by $10reverend.com, I baptize thee. No, please! Yoga's my religion! But you'd convert for Trichelle. I loved her. I don't even know who you are. Uh, how much for this old fridge? Oh, this isn't a yard sale, it's yard clutter. But feel free to stick around, smoke, maybe defecate by a bush. Ah, I should go to work. I have permission. That sounds fair to me. Unbelievable. I think you're a super lady. Blow it out your ass. Great to have you here. Mimosa? I'm 14. Who's gonna find out? Your mother? <laughs> so what are you gonna cook for us? I'm starving. Uh, I, I wanted to make my specialty, a, a Coco Van. What the hell is that? French chicken! I'll tell you what I told Vern Troyer. If the sidecar comes unattached, it's a separate vehicle, and it's not covered. <gasps> My glass! Oh. And if we ain't got no truth in this world, what do we have? Damn lies. I was checking out a hot chick in a newscopter. See? He told the truth. And everyone's the better for it. I'd like to purchase some life insurance. Are you a smoker? Only when I drink. Oh. Steve! Seriously, this isn't a great place not to be wearing a shirt. Let him sing! There's my little daddy's boy. Ready to hand in that essay? Mr. Fritz, I need an extension. Extension? But I read the last draft with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was terrific. What happened? My dad thinks it needs work. Look, Steve, I started an essay contest about dads because I love and admire dads. But dads aren't always right. Most of the time, yes. 99.9% .9 of the time, they're 100% right. But in this case, a dad is wrong. Your essay is perfection. Just hand it in. I can't hand in an essay about my dad that my dad doesn't like. I don't like an unhappy dad. I'll give you two more days, but that's it. Oh, thank you. Y you won't regret it. I hope you're right. What, Billy? What do you want? I just wanted to say hi. Hi. I'm tired of you whispering poison in his ear. He needs to see the truth. I don't give a damn about the truth. Just print the legend. <laughs> Steve, you got a gold star essay here. Why are you digging? Because a deranged lunatic has an axe to grind? She's probably an old flame looking for vengeance. She's my sister. My, my, my dad's daughter. Let's review the facts. Your dad is big, your dad is strong, your dad could hit a ball very far. He can carry a redwood tree, karate chop a python in half, and he makes giant pancakes like Uncle Buck. These are the things we know. These are the things that ground us. I still think he's all those things. I, I just need time to prove it. Two more days. Get out of here! Get! Hey, I could be your guy here in the lab. The police lab? They don't let kids. Five o'clock! Happy, Happy hour. hour! Hey, Billy, you mind locking up? Glug, glug, glug! Right. I'm talking about time to drink! I'm not a killer, Stan. I just want a slice. Yeah. Did I get you? 
You gotta say something if I got you. Them's apocalypse rules. Dan, I thought that was you. Ah, quiet, Greg. I was looking out my basement window, and I said to myself, because that's who I talk to these days, stop I talking. said, I think that's Stan Smith. Please, shut up. I didn't think I'd ever see you Be again quiet. after your family left. You have a lot of tattoos. Wait, what? Do you know where my family went? Oh, yeah. But we shouldn't talk out in the open, because Principal Lewis has been prowling around, and you would not believe what he's been getting up to. Ah! All I wanted was a taste. We're cool now, so be cool. I can't look. Did he get me? I'm too late. But I'm right on time. Ah! You big black bitch! What do you mean, thanks to you? We did all of this. Francine got you on the air, and I abused my CIA powers to make that super storm. You made this storm? Lives were destroyed. But... Aren't you straight? Yes, but I'm terrified of these people. They can control the weather. Mm. Oh, God, no. To get to the ballroom, you have to take the north elevator to the lower lobby and then take the escalator back to the upper mezzanine then walk down a flight of stairs. It's very treacherous. You mean confusing? Perhaps my word choice was a little treacherous. So I suppose you can account for your whereabouts earlier tonight. I was being intimate with Daniel. It's true. I put that ass to sleep. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Do you have any dry roses? My roses are like bones in a desert. Oh, I haven't had a bone in my desert in years. We gather to make a sacrifice to the crow god. Sacrifice to the crow god. Really, Edwin? You're gonna do this right now? You're gonna do this right now? You're just mad because you're not head crow guy. Head crow guy! <sighs> anyway, only the blood of a pure maiden will appease the crow god and ensure a bountiful corn crop. Whoa, 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 pure maiden? Me? I had sex with a guy on the truck ride over here. And who was he? He had a crow mask on. It, oh, it was him, brown corduroys. Her talented mouth tells lies! Shut it down! Can we still go to the aquarium?